Hi, everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you my version of May 2022 sheet load of cards from Call Me Crafty Al. Each month, Alicia creates these great templates, which she shares on her YouTube channel for free. You can grab yours from her channel, and the link is below in the description. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button and then the bell for notifications. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and help you with any of your paper crafting needs. To purchase any of the products you see me use today, please visit my online store and the link is in the description below. So today I am going to be showing you the six cards that I made with her template. I love her template. She gives all of the measurements and she shows you exactly how to cut your pattern paper and your cardstock to create the cards. They're really great templates and again, make sure to jump over and see her channel and how you can download your own template. There are also a group of us who get those templates early and we create some fun cards. So make sure to check out all the amazing designers to see what they created with this month template. And you can see theirs by clicking on the hashtag either in the title of this video or there's also a link in the description below. So make sure to check those out after this video as well. Now today I wanted to use some of the fun new products that are going to be available over on stampinup.com tomorrow. Their new annual catalog for 2022-2023 is um, available and you can purchase from it starting tomorrow. So if there's anything that you see that um, I have used today that you're interested in purchasing, you can use the link to my online store and again that's below in the description as well. So let's go ahead and see these beautiful cards. So one thing that I loved about her design was this modern looking um, kind of separation between the different patterns. And so I wanted to kind of really simplify that and use some solid colors. And there is this new gorgeous glimmer paper pack that is in the new in colors that Stampin' Up! came out with for 2022 through 2024. And the colors are, let me just look at that really quick. So the colors are Orchid Oasis. I think this one is, I think, Starry Sky. The Orchid Oasis is a little more purple and the Starry Sky is a little bit darker. So that's this one here is the Starry Sky. Then we have Orchid Oasis. Then we have this really beautiful ocean blue called Tahitian Tide. This gorgeous green called Parakeet Party. And then this beautiful red Sweet Sorbet. So you can see that you get lots of sheets of this beautiful glimmer paper in one of those packets. And um, so they're six by six as well. So it was perfect for this um, template because it's a special six by six pattern paper design. So anyway, so you can see here that, that it's got that really fun glimmer in those shapes. Now because I was playing with such bold shapes, I wanted to also, and bold colors, I wanted to do my other um, elements in kind of a black and white. So we've got the black cardstock with the white heat embossed greeting. I also love the greetings that were in this stamp set. And so I've done each card with a different greeting. You can see that that's a really, they're just really perfect for so many different things. Now the stamp set that I'm using is the Happiness Abounds. This is another uh, new product that's in the annual catalog that's coming out. It also coordinates with some dies. You get some dies that cut out the flowers and leaves, and then you also have some other fun dies as well. So the um, flowers that you can see here do come from the same stamp set. Here is another one. The embellishments are actually going to be retired tomorrow. So today would be the last day to get them, May 2nd, as well as this black and white strip here. 
And if you're interested in knowing those products, make sure to check out my description. I always include a list of all the products that I've used on my cards below so that you can use that as a reference. All right, so I just showed you all those beautiful cards. The other thing that I really wanted to do with my cards is create some really fun, bold flowers. And so I've got this great watercolor technique that I'm going to share with you that's going to give you a quick and easy um, flowers or other elements that you decide to stamp on it. Um, and it just creates some really beautiful, bold colors. You can see here that you get some really nice, dark um, watercolor wash. So this fun watercolor technique actually doesn't use a paintbrush at all. And it was shared by one of my artisan design team friends um, over at the Stampin' Up! Facebook page. And so you can go find her instructions there if you'd like. But um, what I'm going to do is the photopolymer stamps that Stampin' Up! sells comes with some uh, window or acetate sheets. And so you need one of these to do this technique. So I have that. And the colors that I used for my flowers and my leaves are Daffodil Delight, the new Parakeet Party, and Melon Mambo. I'm going to go ahead and do Melon Mambo today to show you how to do this technique. So you get a little bit of ink, or a lot of ink, on your window sheet. And then you're going to spritz it with some water. So you want to make sure you have nothing important too nearby because there's a little bit of, um, you don't always get water exactly where you want it, right? You can get some overhang. Then you're going to take a piece of basic white cardstock, which is another nice feature about this watercolor technique is that you can use regular cardstock um, and not just watercolor paper. And then if you want, you can also spritz this with a little bit of water, it just kind of helps move the ink around. And then you just kind of turn this over. I like to kind of bend it just slightly. And then you just tap and you add it a little bit at a time. You can also like lay it down and roll it and move it like that. And what you're looking for is kind of like just some interesting shapes and colors. You're going to let it kind of soak into the paper a little bit. Then once you've got your dark colors down, you can actually spray a little bit more onto your acetate sheet. I'm going to try to keep it from making too much of a mess. And that's going to kind of lighten up that color. And then you can kind of do the same thing. But now the next layer is going to be a little bit lighter. You can fill in some of those white spaces with some of the lighter pinks or color, whatever color you're using. It's just kind of a fun and different way to add color to your cardstock. Okay, so then you just kind of let that sit. It's obviously a little messy and you'll just take um, a paper towel or your Simply chamois and just clean off that window sheet. So when that's dry, you can stamp on it. And I like to do these in large sheets. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock. And you can see how beautiful it is and that I want to use all of it for some fun stamping. So I've got the large flower here. And you're just going to ink that up stamp it all over and then you can quick and easily cut them out using the coordinating dies. You can see how each of those flowers are going to be beautiful and unique because of the different locations on that paper. Just a really fun technique. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my version of this month's sheet load of cards from Call Me Crafty Al. Remember, you can visit her YouTube channel to get your own free template. If you're interested in getting a little more information on how I created these cards, you can also visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.